Hi guys, happy Friday. I am just about to head out to eat at Ding Tai Fung again. <laughs> I have uh, been booking a reservation every single week. I'm gonna head out. I am going to bring my book. I finished reading Alexander the Great and I started reading about Lauren Graham. Um, mainly because I wanted to read and see if she had anything to say about Gilmore Girls. I started watching the show over again recently and of course it's my favorite show. So I love it and I wanted to see what she had to say about it. But anyways, I have my reservation very soon so I'm gonna head out. Hey guys, so I am on a hike back to my car right now. Uh, I am in Lakeside. That's El Capitan over there. Not the Yosemite one, but they still label it El Capitan here. And I've got puppers over there. It's actually pretty hot, so she is tired already. And uh, I just wanted to get out of the house for a little bit. But um, I have some really, really great news. And, you know, I have been... Stay on the trail. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, it is shortly before I need to leave to see the breeder and the Bengal cats, so I have been looking forward to this a lot uh, the past few days. Yesterday, I started recording Exciting Muse while I was on my hike, and I did not realize that I ran out of memory on my GoPro, so it didn't capture a lot of what I wanted to say. The past few months, I would say maybe it has been about two months, but I can definitely check to be more specific. I have been applying to jobs, wanting to find a full-time remote. So people who have been watching my videos for a while or just know me, know that having a remote job is something that I have strived for. It was something that I always wanted and knew that that would be the path that I wanted to take when it comes to my career. And it felt like now is the right time for that just because last year I actually planned on wanting to apply, but because of COVID, I didn't think it would be the best time to do that. Maybe not necessarily safe either. With the way that my job has been going, um, it's just not really going the direction that I prefer. After I had conflict with my coworker, I stopped doing as much technical stuff, I feel like. I mean, yes, I still manage something now. I manage an Excel tool and I write in VBA, but that's just not what I want to do. I'm not very interested in that stuff. And I also feel like the direction of my job now is gonna be more towards, it's gonna feel similar to before, where it ends up being administrative kind of instead of actual development work. So I felt like it was important for me to find a job that will um, give me the experience and skills that would be important for me to keep progressing in my career. So I have been interviewing and um, <laughs> I have tried actually several times to record a vlog but eventually I just get lazy and um, it has been a very very uncomfortable and unenjoyable process like it always is but I will say that the company that offered me a position yesterday I definitely accepted it is full-time remote and it is a sizable raise so i am very happy about all of it it is also coming at a convenient time because i did mention that my lease is up in mid-november and my current landlord does not want to do month to month so i will absolutely be leaving i did plan on leaving regardless but month to month would have given me a nicer um flexibility in terms of when i leave because honestly i am a little bit nervous when i look at um, the houses for rent right now there aren't a lot in the lower range that I prefer and I really am not interested in continuing to raise my rent just because my salary is going up. The interview process for this current company was actually pretty straightforward and I was very very happy about that because I have always been extremely against the companies that make you interview for like five to six hours total across their entire interview process and then they make you uh, code in front of them for multiple hours as well. I don't like that process because I don't think that's a good gauge of what the candidate can actually do on the job. And I also feel like it's um, pretty miserable for the candidate and for them to put you through that is very one-sided. And a lot of the companies that do that are not even companies I'm very interested in working for. Um, one of them was Microsoft. They reached out to me on LinkedIn. I did one 
first interview with somebody just talking through a technical problem and I actually enjoyed talking to him but the technical problem was very uncomfortable for me because they ask you a question and they expect you to come up with a response very fast when sometimes it takes more time for me to come up with a response that I'm comfortable and confident in responding back to you with. So after that, they wanted to schedule four hours for me to talk to four separate people. And after I spoke to the first person who was uh, an older woman and I really did not enjoy my talk with her, I found her to be pretty wooden. She was not a friendly person at all. And uh, the question they asked me was more back end, which is not something I have experience with. So after that experience, I decided that I wasn't gonna waste my time um, putting myself through more stages, I guess, of the Microsoft interview process. So I just took myself out of it. And I'm really glad I did because I honestly have no interest in working for them. Like I don't care about them. So for me to willingly put my time into their interview process, which is very extensive and unenjoyable, they don't really select people that actually want to make the interview process like comfortable for you as the candidate, then fuck them. I would rather uh, try for other places. So sorry, that was a bit of a ramble, but I want to give people the idea of what the process is like and also maybe stir up the conversation or the thought that you don't always have to comply with these things Yes, if you are like me, I'm very headstrong, so if I don't like it, I just don't go through with it, which means that I am limiting myself on what companies I can work for because if a company has that interview process, then they're never gonna see me, they're never gonna hear about me because I'm not gonna put myself through that. Um, my current company basically did a one hour interview with two higher ups at the same time and most of it was talking. They did ask me a coding question, which I found to be pretty simple. And I think that's fair. I don't think it needs to be anything overly complicated. They just wanna make sure that you know what you're doing and that you think well. And I enjoyed my talk with them after I had seen on Glassdoor some things that made me a little bit wary about this company, but I'm glad that I went in with an open mind because Initially, when I went into it, I was like, oh, these people say this company is bad. I'm just going to wing it. I don't care. But um, after enjoying the conversation, I started to feel a bit more confident, especially because they did seem to really enjoy talking to me and they appreciated my honesty. And that's something that I actually feel like is such a huge advantage for me because recently with my conflict with my coworker, that's actually something I have been telling these companies a lot. Every single interview I've been having, I've been, I've been bringing that up. Because the thing is, normally, I feel like most people would say, don't bring up a problem or a conflict, it can make you look bad. But I actually feel like this is pretty important to bring up because it is what has caused the shift in my current job. And if I appear open and willing to discuss it, the people that appreciate it, those are the people I like. The people who don't appreciate it, then I don't really care about them. Anyways, it's like my own filter. So I feel like it's definitely advantageous for me to discuss these things. My second interview with them, so it was just two processes with them. The first one was uh, one hour with two higher ups. And then the second one was about an hour and a half with five software engineers at the same time. That was the first time I ever did that many at once. And it was intimidating at first, but as every person on the call talked, I could tell that they were friendly and that makes such a big difference. I feel like when I talk, sometimes I do tend to ramble, but I think that is my best selling point when I'm doing interviews. When I'm coding, I don't like that. I don't think I'm very good at it, mostly because I don't like to practice that. When I do the talking portion, I do ramble a bit, so they asked me about what happened with my coworker. They did ask me side questions about gaming because they always ask, how did you get into tech? And gaming is actually how I got into computer science. When I was young, I just figured, oh, I love to play games. I like being on the computer. Let's turn it into a career, even though they don't actually have much to do with each other because just because you like gaming doesn't mean you like coding. They, they asked me a bunch of just like, there were some technical questions about like, what is this? What are the differences between this? Like, what do you like about this for languages? And I gave my honest feedback for all of them. So for example, when they asked me, you know, what's your favorite language or what do you strive to work with in terms of like the technologies? Um, I would 
I would just say that I don't have a preference really because some people they um, have a really strong opinion about what languages they hate and what they don't like to work in and for me I've never really felt that way because I have always been a go with the flow kind of person so if I'm in a situation where I'm working with this language and I'm trying to build something with it because that's the environment that my work has I don't really question it or just um, feel like oh I hate this so much I'd rather work in this I just do it because that's what I have to that's the environment I have to work in and it's not really my job to try to get us to work with something else especially because the companies that I've been working for there's no leeway really um, they're older companies that have what they are allowed to work in and then that's about it um, getting new technology in is not very easy and most likely won't be approved but yeah anyways big news is I found a new job and I will be starting it in about three weeks I have to put in my two-week notice on Monday which I am nervous about because there are all these other processes that I need to go through like I have to return my laptop I have to go to the office and pick up a few of my things so I have a jacket there I have my pink Philco keyboard that has been sitting there for a year and a half I love that keyboard I want it back and um, yeah all these other things like transferring of the technologies or like the tools that I've been doing I am actually really nervous because I suspect that they might have me talk to my coworker that I fell out with to transfer some of these things and I really hope not because I don't want to speak to him but maybe it won't be as bad as I think who knows anyways I gotta get ready to see some kittens I really hope I get some footage for you guys too I kind of wanted to pop in here really quickly just to talk about how I've been feeling because I do feel like I've been feeling pretty strange today because although getting a new job is really really great news and I'm really excited for it because of the remote opportunities and obviously the raise I feel like when you want something and you really feel like it will bring about good changes for your life you're obviously very excited um, and when you obtain it you expect yourself to feel a certain way but today I haven't necessarily been feeling any particular way <laughs> if that makes any sense I don't feel any different it's kind of similar to how I would imagine somebody would feel if they have a goal to have a certain amount of money and once they obtain it they're just like oh I have it now but I don't feel any different um, I feel like even though I've never been in that position I think it's similar because um, we fixate on things sometimes and once we have it we expect to feel a certain way but we actually don't I have never been somebody who gets really overly like ecstatic about something I'm kind of like a more quiet celebrator so today I have been mostly keeping to myself um, I did tell my dad I was talking to my parents today about it and um, I told Jose I discussed it with him a little bit um, I did text my brother about it but that's pretty much it um, I don't really have anybody else that would actually James I think I will definitely tell James I've considered whether I want to text him about it or call him um, I will be seeing him in just over a week there is a pistol competition that he invited me to spectate and that's going to be next Sunday so I will be seeing him and I'm really excited to tell him that news but aside from that um, my day has just been really strictly about myself uh, I went to eat Ding Tai Fong for lunch by myself brought my book and I read a little bit then I came back um, played a little bit of Final Fantasy by myself and then I took Riley out for a quick little hike came back um, I did my knee exercises and then I just watched Hellraiser for the first time the 1987 one which I actually thought was pretty cool um, it has very interesting themes that I'm not really used to seeing but I like these types of horror movies I realized where um, the ideas are very different they don't rely on supernatural stuff and I feel like the story was pretty good it was definitely gory in its own sense so even though it's an old movie I did catch myself being like this there was a moment in the movie early on where the man was moving a mattress upstairs and sometimes when they fixate on a nail the camera fixates on a nail and they gradually show someone getting closer and closer to it that gives me so much anxiety I hate moments like that they did that in The Quiet Place 
and uh, I actually caught myself doing this just because he was about to cut himself on a nail. But anyways, um, really enjoyed it now. I just did some stretches. That's something that I'm trying to be very consistent about if possible. Implement stretches into my daily routine because that's something that's similar to sleep. I feel like people neglect a lot. They don't really think it's important until later on when they get older and they realize that they haven't been taking good care of their body or as well as it could have been. So now I'm sitting here and it's almost nine o'clock and I still feel like I have so much time, but um, that has what that's what has been on my mind. And well, honestly, I'm a little bit intimidated. Um, I'm a little bit intimidated about starting a new job. I'm afraid of the change. I will admit I'm afraid of the change because for the longest time now with my current job, I have had a lot of freedom because my workload has not been heavy at all. So that has given me a lot of freedom to go out and do whatever the fuck I want in the middle of the day. But now with a job change, I suspect it will be the complete opposite where I can't wake up at 11 a.m. anymore. Um, I'm gonna actually have to have a routine again where I'm gonna have to wake up early and probably I would say I would want to walk Riley before I begin work because if it is going to be busy, I'm not sure how it will feel, but I'm pretty sure I'll be consistently busy, we'll see. But um, it will probably require a set, set, a set schedule of me walking her before work, working, lunch, and then working, and then I'm done. Whereas my life for the past few months has been very, very lax. I have basically been behaving as if I have no job. So that does intimidate me to switch my life around like that. And um, yeah, I guess just the fact of learning a bunch of new things. I think in my present moment, I have doubts that I'm capable of it, but I know I am. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up my night. Hi, you. <laughs> wow, the small little squeak you have. <laughs> oh, sorry, too aggressive. <laughs>